surprised no one that Sonic Fox plays a lot of Eliza, but... <laughs> Oh, Sonic Fox. Now I remember. God damn. How could I forget fucking Sonic Fox? The guy's so cool. <laughs> he was in the, like, the background of it, yeah. He yeah, he's the... Uh, the tutorial stage. Yeah. Would you uh, say that he's basically the, the little Nas X of esports? Yes, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. fucking yeah, I just... love Misfortune. She's like <laughs> my bae. God. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played, since I've seen this game. Which one is Miss Fortune again? Uh, she's the cat girl who basically disembodies her head or some shit. Yeah. Okay, that one. I love her. Zombie, <laughs> zombie cat lady that I've seen way too much. Uh... Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> The internet's a scary place. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. I just remembered something. Mm-hmm. So, rest in peace to everyone who's been saying the Switch Pro would be announced for the past month. Yep, I... <laughs> Every was... single fucking day for the past month. They were like, oh, the Switch Pro is finally going to be announced. Oh, it's going to be announced today. Oh, no, it's going to be announced. I wasn't so no. sure. That's kind of the thing. I mean, ever since, oh, what was it? Like, the release of the Switch as a whole, they've decided to not basically release, like, or basically announce any Switch Pro or, like, any console on an E3, because that would be too out there, I think. <laughs> So it would be a lot more better for them to actually do that. Like ever since the Switch thing happened, they kind of. I mean, put it don't get me wrong. I probably, I, I probably would actually trade in my Switch for a Switch Pro. Mhm. Mm because to play, to play more, re because I love being able to play my games in portable mode, and a more powerful Switch sounds appealing to getting more games to use in portable mode. Hmm. Like. I hardly ever use it docked because I just like to. Sometimes when I'm just I gotta look in bed this up. at night, I, I can just play it in bed. <laughs> oh man. I normally like sit there and just play on play my Switch while I'm waiting for my daughter to go to sleep. I remember how cool it felt being able to play. The the first three um, Spyro the Hedge, I mean Spyro the Dragon uh, games on my fucking Switch, like literally in my couch while watching TV, I could play the fucking Spyro the Dragon games all on my Switch. Yeah. Aww. Just nice. These, these three Thank games you. from my childhood, I could literally play on the go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. Um... That when uh, Doki Doki gets released, um, when is it coming out again? I forgot. Uh, um, <sighs> it is Let's coming see. out. Yoki Doki Literature Club. Store bomb. It comes on the thirtieth. Yeah. Okay. So probably once it comes out, I might have to get it as a birthday gifts. That one's definitely uh, a birthday gift. Uh, it because... comes out along with every guy who simps over Monica. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, anyway, I know I'm gonna definitely play that one on the Switch, and um, maybe, that would be the one uh, the version I'll play for what if I do Let's Plays of the game. I think that'd be a perfect one to do during Halloween time. Yeah. And since I'm gonna play as a character who has no idea about the games, as much comparison to my main girl, Jessie, it'll be a very amusing to see his reaction. Mm -hmm. But I think it'll be more fun to... I might have to play it with on in my server with a few of my friends and see and have, get than my raw reaction to the game since this is technically this it'll have new stuff it featured in it and 
might try some things that are crazy on the Switch that I think would be perfect to have a good raw reaction to. Yeah. Because I haven't played any of the Doki Doki games. I didn't play the I didn't play the original one, but I've seen the game, so I know what to expect. However, comma, the Switch one will be brand spanking new for me, and it shall be amusing to see, see my reactions. Especially if I have my webcam on, I'm like, oh god, what the <laughs> heck? Can <laughs> you see my face? I still... <laughs> okay. I... Oh god, okay. Uh, Riley. That, the, the thing you posted from Zack Snyder earlier? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the, who here has heard of the, uh, the webcomic artist, uh, uh, Flurk of Cows? He does the sock puppet meme, like, comics? This is what he replied to that picture with. <laughs> oh, by the way, I just sent that tweet to Robin. Oh, that's <laughs> just... I love this as a reaction image, just... <laughs> 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 I'm, that's it. I'm, my god. I'm, I'm going to steal that image from you, Vlad, so... Go ahead. You. Memes... <laughs> You no need to tell me you are stealing meme. It is part of the community. <laughs> part of the program. It is our meme. meme. It is not my meme, my friend. It is our meme. Thank you, Let's... Gumlab. I'm trying to think. I know I'm definitely looking forward to playing Dog and Rumpa. That one I was very excited yeah. that they're porting into the Switch. I'm like, ooh, sweet. That means I can play it. I can play all three of them. All three of the games I want to play without paying so much for them. I wish everybody uh, shut the fuck up about Danganronpa. I, I really <laughs> wish, I really wish that the per Persona Five would be ported to the Switch, or at least, at least any of the I know. Persona games. Here's okay. I know. Because, like, like I've I said in the past, I it, it's a game that I want to get into, and I want. Hey guys, to play. we're gonna head out now. Blair, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, bye. See you, man. Bye. Bye. I'm heading out too. Have a good night, guys. Night, bye. Dusk. Bye. bye, Dusk. Later. Why? Anyways, like a, it's a game series I want to get into, but the problem is I know I'd have to devote a shitload of time to it. Yes. <laughs> and I'd rather not have to do that on my PC or my console, but on my Switch, where I when I'm just like. Okay, I'm settling into bed. I can do this shit really real quick and check in and do whatever and then go to bed or some shit. Yes, I believe that that would be the best. Here's the thing, though. Atlas hates money. That's my that's my headcanon. Because they, they decided to drip... They decided to drip feed their fans. Like the new JonTron video. These are my prisoners that I will drip... Wait a second. That I, I will could drip fall feed. that lava and not get hurt? Like... But they put out Persona 4 Golden, which had been locked, it, like, imprisoned on the PS Vita for years. Yeah. And they released it on Steam, and they didn't think that it was going to do that well. And it sold Boy, like were they wrong. It, it, it sold like hotcakes. And Atlas had said nothing about any other games, because I don't think they know how to properly fathom that people want to play their games on something other than the consoles they originally released on. I don't think they understand yeah. that concept. I think that's why they're re releasing Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne now, to again test the waters, be like, oh, well, there's no way anybody would care about this. I guarantee you that game's going to sell like hotcakes, and people, they're gonna just lose their fucking minds, because Atlas is gonna be like, but, but why they like the old games? You see, these, these civilized folks, <laughs> they'll eat each other. <laughs> We just, I just want to play, I just want to play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I want to play Persona 3. I want to be able to play fucking I'm, not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. I want to play Persona 3 and Persona 4 Golden. Not Persona 4 Original, Persona 4 Golden is the ultimate, is the ultimate experience. And Persona 5 Royale, my goddamn Switch, while I'm on the bus ride! <laughs> I also want to play Persona 5. It's just that, why would they... Why but would now they if you want to... Ex 
Now if you want to experience the full story, you gotta play Persona 5 Royale and Persona 5 Strikers. Oh, shit. Yep. Because no, Persona, no. <sighs> Persona 5 Strikers I mean, directly builds off of the story of Persona 5. To be yeah. fair, that's still, that's still not as bad as having to play all these spin-off games for Kingdom Hearts. You're goddamn right it is it. You're goddamn right I, it is. And, 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 and I say that as proud Kingdom Hearts trash. Yeah, I was about to say you just you didn't just shoot yourself in the foot. You fucking sawed it off at the yeah. ankle. I'm a fucking dumbass. Hey, just because I'm Kingdom Hearts trash doesn't mean I'm blind to its flaws. You mean a flaw that's been indicative of the Kingdom Hearts franchise? For yeah. like ever I since it was tinted glasses like that. <laughs> I swear, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts is just that one game you would have to use a strategy guide for. You need a fucking uh, flow chart to explain the plot. I don't care about the plot. I care more about a... finishing the game. It's it's that kind of game that you need an actual Kingdom Hearts fan to, like, literally. What? Like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I still kinda hate the mini games they th they uh, throw into the Kingdom Hearts games and shit. Yeah. They're just wave like, beam. Yep. Like, I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2 earlier, and, uh, hey, Galaxy, you, you, yes? want, you, want, to tell, you want to tell the folks at home what you made me play? <laughs> what, you, what, what, you, what, you, what you kept telling, you, 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 you practically begged me to play? <laughs> Did you, you do? Isn't it your favorite level of all time, Riley? You sit what on did you do? <laughs> what did you it's do? his favorite level. Don't you know that, Jess? It's her. It's his favorite level of all time. Like yeah. next to the Kingdom Hearts <laughs> level. Yeah, Gal Galaxy made me play Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts too. Oh. God. Oh no. Okay. Swim this way, we'll oh, dance and we'll play now. Oh, uh, I can imagine how fucking painful that must have been. Like I Finny like fun. I, like I I haven't played much Kingdom Hearts, but even I know that's fucking brutal. Like <laughs> that's on the levels Finny. of watching Lion King live action levels of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm fucking wrong. You're not. That's the best part. Atlantica is widely regarded as the worst thing that Kingdom Hearts has put out. It's his favorite level. Get up there. He talks about it all the Come time, on. you know? Even oh I my god. Even I would not subject someone to that kind of hell. And uh, <laughs> Blue Griffin, uh, you've never played a Persona game? You totally should. Ow! It's, a good, it's a good series as a whole. Oh, yeah, like, especially the characters that, that go with it. And especially like the all-out attacks and shit. Yep. Oh, the all-out attacks are fun. Like, Regardless, Futaba, Futaba is pretty good in terms of that too. Regardless of what has happened with uh, with uh, Mr. Former Uncle Crow and Broly, uh, Vic Mignogna, I will stand by that one of the greatest characters in uh, the Persona series was Junpei Iori. Junpei was just great. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd rather not get into that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You could start with one or two for do? the PS, PS, uh, X or the PSP. Yeah. I would say that, like, if you want to, like, get a real, like, uh, a good kind feel for, uh, a much kinder, less intensive beat you with a fucking birch branch experience for Persona, play Persona 3, Persona 4, Persona 5. Uh, Persona 1 and 2, those are more... If you They're don't more know what fetus games, or more, like, newbie games, yeah, in terms you... of, like, the series as a whole. But if you want, like, really good, like, ah. startups, you have to either go through PS4, PS, like, Persona 4, or Persona 5, or Persona 3. Yeah, like if you if you don't want to like be beating your head against a brick wall with no idea what you're doing, play okay. play anything after like three and anything after. Persona one and two run off the formula of Shin Megami Tensei, uh, the Shin Megami Tensei series, which is an exercise in frustration if you don't know what you're doing. 
Oh. Push this book back with your beams and then drop its bombs in its path. Okay. They're Persona 3 oh. and Persona 4 on PS4. No, they are not! The only modern release of a Persona game is Persona 4 uh, Golden, and that was put on Steam, which you can buy it for like 20 bucks. Something like that, yeah. Oh, oh I, I got it. I still want to get. Fuck I, you. I don't know. <sighs> oh, oh. you. you... You know, you know how like Square Enix has been doing all these remakes lately and shit. Yes. Yeah. You know what game I would love to see remade? Hmm. You ever hear of a game called Brave Fencer Musashi? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love that game as a kid, and I would love to see that remade. Like, yeah, I, I, I I've tried to play it, but it's 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 aged. It, it's yeah, it. it's it shows its age. I would love to see a remake or a modern day port of uh, I think it's called Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Ooh, hello. What's this? Which was a which was a uh, an RPG that I played back on the original PlayStation, and it was fucking great. <laughs> okay, I'll check it later. I was always more of a PlayStation kid at growing up. I, I think it was released on the original PlayStation back in 1996. Ew! God, that worm had so some, I, that worm had better days. Jesus. Because. Oh, I, I, oh, sorry. I think Complete was a remake of Lunar Star, uh, Lunar Silver Star Story, and then Complete was like a like a better, more updated version of it. I just want to see a remake of it. What the later. fuck? It had some hot chicks in it. Yeah. Oh. Also, aren't we only like a month away from Space Jam 2? I think so. You... So... It's almost time to come on and... S we ain't gonna have Charles Barkley. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna be there to slam and welcome us to the <laughs> jam. <laughs> he ain't gonna be there to slam and ask us who wanna jam. Yeah. <laughs> and say, hey, yeah. DJ, what you gonna do? He ain't gonna say, DJ, turn it up. Cause he's not gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. What you gonna do? I just I, I love me some Cheryl's bork. Yeah. The <laughs> fuck are you doing? I'm oh, just no. excited for Space Jam 2. <laughs> I'm excited because we know how the game ends like the how the whole story ends already. I don't like peep oh my god, I remember the controversy surrounding fucking Zendaya because of like how she seemed to be in as Aunt Lola Bunny. Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm still kind of like it's it's I, I don't I don't blame Z Zendaya, but it's just it's like I I, I I just wish the the voice actors got more credit and shit and uh, and yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like it's not even that. At one point in, like, when she was given a little sneak peek, it felt like she was reading her lines, kind of. Yeah. He's phoning like, it in! The, like, the valley girl stereotype is, like, needs to be dead. But it works for Lola. You know? Mm. Or, like, I either that or give her a little like... bit of a flair, like a mixture of the valley girl and the sexy baddie. Kind of thing. I, I, I wouldn't even call her a valley girl in the first movie. I, I don't think that was. No, not that. that. I'm talking about the Looney Tunes cartoon, like the you know. Oh, the, no, oh, like that the version. newest even one. Even that version. Yeah, that, no, the one with that character is um, more just purely naive. No, what, what was who was the voice the the actress who played Lola in the in the Looney Tunes cartoon? Um, she was also no in idea. Bridesmaids. She was also in Bridesmaids. 